Joining us now for a CNBC exclusive interview is Twilio CEO Jeff Lawson. Jeff, welcome back. Good to see you. Thank you very much. Great to be back. I might just pick up, if I may, very quickly on what Elon was reporting ahead of uh, tomorrow's uh, testimony on Capitol Hill. I mean, how have you found it uh, operating, uh, I guess, uh, sometimes in partnership, sometimes against these big tech companies? Uh, have you felt it relatively easy to compete despite their size? Well, you know, the amazing thing about the technology industry is that we have a global audience, uh, and that is fairly unprecedented in the history of business and, quite frankly, society. And so it's very exciting as a technology company to be able to address such a large market uh, and to be able to serve so many customers. And I think that's what everybody finds. That's what the, the large technology companies are able to do. But that's also what creates so many opportunities for nearly every kind of company. And, and uh, we've certainly found that to be true as we've addressed the global opportunity and customer engagement. Um, Jeff, we've talked uh, in the past about some of your biggest customers in that kind of sweet spot of uh, tech growth in the last couple of years, like Uber and uh, Hulu and Shopify. There's a list of, of, of a couple of them. Uh, on the call, though, you, you seem to be saying that, that the latest bout of growth is coming from kind of older uh, sector companies. Perhaps uh, I'm being a bit harsh on framing them that way. The likes of healthcare and financials. Is that right? Well, we have a very uh, distributed customer base. We have over 208,000 active customers in the platform. So as you can imagine, that represents companies of nearly every shape and size all around the world, big companies, small companies, new companies, and old companies. And in that, you see the digital natives, the disruptors coming into every industry, challenging the status quo, as well as the incumbents who then have to answer that challenge of disruption with their own self-disruption. And so the end result is that all these companies and all these industries end up hiring software developers and start building great digital experiences for their customers. And so that has allowed us to maintain a customer base that has uh, all different kinds of customers across all different kinds of industries as all of these companies are competing and trying to win in this new digital landscape. I think of you, Jeff, as, as the company that helps Uber text and call me as a customer. But you're doing a lot of other services and expanding through M&A, and it has investors and analysts really excited about it. What, how should we be thinking of your company and, and the sort of total addressable market that you're chasing at this point? Well, our goal is to become the leading customer engagement platform. And what that means is that every company, especially B2C companies, have to first start when they want to uh, acquire customers, retain those customers, and ultimately grow those customers. That job starts with understanding customers. And for B2C companies in particular, understanding your customer means taking all the data that you have about customers that are in all the myriad systems that companies use. You've got marketing systems, sales systems, you've got data warehouses, you've got commerce systems, you have all these different systems that companies put in that each have a piece of data about the customer. And so one of our recent acquisitions that we announced uh, that'll close this quarter is called Segment. And the problem that they solve is helping to take data out of all those silos that exist and help you assemble a single view of the customer. Then once you understand your customer, you can engage with them. And that's communications. And that's what Twilio does with the leading API platform for all those different channels of communication, from texting and voice and video and email. We allow companies to engage with their customers no matter where they are. And now with Segment, actually uh, come from a place of truly understanding your customer by liberating all the data that's in those silos. And all Ultimately, this is uh, all in the, in the service of becoming the leading customer engagement platform. Do you, do you think, Jeff, that customers are fully aware the extent to which their data is used and monetized today in a way that they may not have been two or three years ago? Do you think there's still an outstanding risk, particularly after the election, that the legislation could change the sort of balance of power, the balance of ownership for that data? Well, I'm just talking about what's called first party data. So if a company knows that you bought this pair of shoes, and then they use that data to market to you like similar shoes you might like, that is called first party data. And that I think is, is fairly clear how companies use that data. I think when you start talking about third party data and acquiring data from other sources and trying to mix data together, that's what consumers are rightfully opposed to. And that's what legislators are and should be thinking about uh, having sane regulation around. But what we are talking about is just first party data. Like when you visit a website and uh, you know, you're looking at men's pants, and then the next day you get an email from them offering you, you know, women's underwear, right? That is a company who has not been able to connect these two systems together to market market to you relevant products based on what they think you like. And that's the kind of uh, experiences that we're talking about creating. Just companies able to make sense of their customers from all the data that they see and be able to make wise decisions about how to engage with you as a customer. And I think every consumer thinks about those and it just makes sense. 
Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.